Hello Canvas users, this is Marie Henderson. In this video, we'll look at adding a stimulus here in Quizzes Next, as well as a categorization question. So I've already given my quiz a title, and I have written some brief instructions there just to show you how that worked in the previous video. And now we're ready to click the blue plus sign here to add content. And we're gonna dive right into adding a stimulus. So click the plus stimulus button and it splits your screen here such that you're able to add the stimulus on the left and then we'll be able to add questions that go along with that stimulus here on the right. You'll get used to this as you work more in quizzes next, but you always wanna add a title to your question even if that title is just the title of the quiz itself, as then you'll be able to add these questions to a question bank and utilize them more effectively in future quizzes. So I'm gonna call this branches of US government. You can give some instructions for your stimulus if you like, but I'm gonna skip that for the moment and scroll on down here to adding the content to my stimulus. I think the stimulus feature is a great way to make an assessment a learning opportunity. Whether you add a graphic organizer here to stimulate students' memory, or you embed a YouTube video to give students more information before they answer the questions, a stimulus can be used in a formative and summative quiz to further the learning in your classroom. So I'm gonna demonstrate here how to add a YouTube video as your stimulus. So if you click here into the box and then click to insert or edit media, we're going to embed a YouTube video. So select the second tab here across the top and then over in YouTube, when you click the share icon below the video you're wanting to embed, the first option here is to click embed, and then an iframe code appears. You have a couple of options for how to embed that, but if you click copy here in the bottom right, the link has been copied to your clipboard, and back over here in Canvas, you can paste that code in, click OK, and your video loads right here in your stimulus. If it helps you later to have the source URL or the original link so that you can find it again easily, I'm gonna go back over here to YouTube and close the embed option and instead just grab the share URL and paste it back over here in Canvas. Down here at the bottom, you can now add your question to a question bank. I'm gonna create a new bank for my branches of US government so that I can use these questions again in the future. So I'm gonna click add, and now you'll see the stimulus here at the left, and I can attach a question here at the right. So the first type of question we need to learn how to use is the categorization question. So I'm gonna click plus categorization, and again, give my question a title, branches of US government. I might specifically put categorization so I know later what type of question this is. For my question stem, we're going to drag and drop items to the appropriate category of government. Lots of different ways you can utilize this question depending on your content. For this one, my first category is gonna be executive, and then we're gonna do legislative, and then I'm gonna come down here, add an additional category. Of course, the third category of government is the judicial branch. And then under each category, I can type things that go along with that category such that students will drag and drop them when they are taking the quiz to demonstrate their understanding of this content. So of course I could do a lot more than just these few, but I wanna show you what it'll look like when it's complete. So here, do Supreme Court. I'm sure there's something on this screen that I've misspelled, but we'll go from there. If there's something that doesn't belong to any of the categories you've selected and you just want to add a distractor, you also have that option here. And then additionally, in the categorization question, you have the option to show an on-screen calculator to align the question to outcomes that you've built. 
and then my favorite to add the question to a bank so you can use it again later. So we're now adding to an existing bank, our branches of US government, and we'll click add. And we can move on then to attaching more questions to the same stimuli, or if we're finished with that stimuli and ready to just add additional questions in general, we can come down here to the bottom and click the add content button. As always, if you have questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you and have a great day.